Hi, good morning, friends. This video is made for serious motorcycle riders and technicians who value life. Solving accident mystery is always time consuming, so the video can be a bit long. World's biggest dream gets shattered in seconds. Sometimes we know the reason, but at times it remains a mystery. On 28 January 1986, a space shuttle Challenger was lost just because of a solid rocket motor booster o-ring failure, killing all seven crew members in just 73 seconds. On 25th July 2000, world famous Concorde aircraft crashed just because of a tire bust, resulting in a tire piece hitting the fuel tank and electrical wiring like a high-speed projectile that caused a huge fire, killing all 109 people on board and four others. We are yet to find the root cause of a KTM 390 adventure fire which in reality did not fall or crash into the ground before catching fire. The journal area manager who investigated the matter has already closed the chapter calling it a road accident as if it was a routine missing a golden opportunity to build the pride of ownership. One must watch these videos to know the importance given to understand the real meaning of motorcycling, serious defect rectifications, design faults and the way investigations are made after a road accident. Sagar Agrawal noticed a fuel tank crack on 22nd December 2020 during a routine wash. The crack was located on the top front side of the fuel tank towards the steering handle under the fuel cap cover. The crack was such that if the bike is filled the full tank, it would leak about 1 litre of fuel in a stand still position. After speaking to others, Sagar learnt that few other bikes were also noticed with similar cracks. The defective cracked fuel tank was replaced under warranty on 2nd January 2021 as per Sagar. The new tank had certain issues including the non-functional fuel tank cap where he had to manually twist the key to lock the fuel cap. On 4th January, Sagar was riding from Bhavnagar to Kosamba and back. On the way back while crossing Vadodara at around 2 pm, suddenly a small Tata vehicle which was ahead of him, applied brakes and turned left. Sagar was at around 60 km per hour and while trying to escape, he impacted the vehicle. The right side impact was caused on the engine crash bar and it was not an impact that could have thrown the rider. But at this moment of impact, Sagar was into a ball of fire. The fireball started from the front and the side of tank coming till the helmet height, which blinded him for a moment. Rajesh jumped from the burning motorcycle, but his whole Rhinox jacket was on fire. In the process of removing the burning jacket over his helmet, as he could not unzip, he suffered severe burn injuries on hands and flash burn on the face. Sagar can forget the loss of nearly Rs 1.5 lakh worth of items, but he still has a big challenge to restore the face and hands, which needs a special treatment and time. After the accident, he was hospitalized for almost 10 days at Bhavnagar. Zonal KTM service team, who visited the accident site, concluded the investigation by writing, the unforeseen incident like this are termed as accidents. They also negated that such a fire accident can't happen while on the run, rejecting to accept the facts brought out by Sagar. They also agree to accept for a fire to engulf, it not only requires fuel, but also need the generation of a spark. For the fire of this magnitude, we need sufficient quantity of fuel apart from material to sustain the fire. Leaking engine oil is a fire hazard, but this fire is certainly not linked to the engine oil fire. Defective fuel cap, once locked, may not cause something serious, so kept out of discussion. The most suspected fuel for such a fire 
can only be patrol. A sagar was suddenly engulfed in flames and a ball of fire, which occurred in a fraction of seconds on impact with the Tata truck. The KTM's fuel tank was replaced a day before, wherein the fuel pump seal was fitted after removing from the old tank, which was also witnessed by Sagar. Any such rubber seal, once compressed, gets deformed to provide a leak-proof joint. Therefore, once used, it may not provide a similar leak-proof joint like a new seal. The fuel pipe also has two pipe joints at either end of the fuel filter, which is also located just below the tank. If you look at older Java or Pulsar, they all had a very simple fuel pipeline where even if fuel leaked, it followed a clear path without causing a serious issue of fire. However, on any such compact machine like the KTM 390 Adventure, the fuel pump sits right on top of the engine, which also has electrical wires, including the spark plug. Working in such a restricted area and fixing the fuel pipe clitting demands some degree of a skill. Any fuel leak in this area will create perfect fuel air mixture if engine bay gets drenched in fuel while the bike is on the run. The cold temperature, like in January, makes a denser mixture which will get ignited faster unlike a hot summer day. Two radiator fans will also add to the airflow circulation and under such a scenario, it could act like a petrol bomb if gets the source of ignition. This bike was also fitted with a big size windshield which is bound to concentrate the fumes and fireball right in front of the rider which completely burned the Rhinox jacket without causing lower pant to burn in a similar fashion. To support my viewpoint, here is a video of a brand new motorcycle and its odometer clearly shows having done just 1257 km which relates to a fuel leak from the fuel filter joint. The rider struggled and spelled fuel leak almost for a week after which same was caught one morning. If KTM team wishes to connect with the rider, they can call me anytime. Such leaks, even if it happens at a very slow pace, can trench everything in the engine bay, which is in close proximity to plastic parts, rubber hoses, electrical harness, air filter assembly, rider's seat, fuel tank, front and rear plastic fenders, including the tires and battery, which are the best source to sustain such a fire. If a KTM 390 Adventure falls on the road at 60 km per hour, its fuel tank may not rupture, as there is hardly any scope of fuel tank coming in contact with the ground. As an example, in this accident of mine, except the handlebar bending, there was not even a single scratch mark on the fuel tank. Now coming onto the most important part of the source of ignition, what is not required to visit the accident site. As such visuals are seen and experienced in the kitchen while touching or in free time, watching TV shows as a matter of routine. The sparks generated by foot pegs or metal parts while a crash is the most common source of ignition as also seen during F1 racing. However, this can be ruled out as the fire happened on the move and not after the fall. When two metallic objects hit each other at a speed and cause an impact of friction, there could be a possibility of spark. Sagar had impacted the Tata truck body from the side, which was reducing speed as had applied brakes. During such a sideways impact, which will cause friction between the two vehicles, there is a huge possibility of sparks, which could be another most reliable source of ignition. So the crash cart could be a source of ignition. On impact with Tata truck, the electrical wire of the auxiliary lights can snap, creating a source of ignition. The motorcycle had a mobile phone mounted right in front of the fuel tank. Such a location with a defective cap can be doubted, but I still rule out the same. So what's next?
every one of us carries static electricity charge and the majority of gas station fire happens moment an individual touches something which results in a static electricity discharge there are hundreds of videos which confirm that most invisible but most proven cause of the fire is only static electricity discharge and not the mobile phones kindly look for the human body movement before any fire if sagar had a cloud of invisible fumes just below the tank it takes microseconds for static electricity to cause a spark when coming close to any other moving vehicle a rider wearing rubber boots thermal woolens and jacket on a moving motorcycle with a huge windshield could be a good source of static electricity all motor vehicles trucks car and buses can build up static electricity charge while on the move commercial aircraft are other good examples which have proper static electricity discharges mounted on the wing tips and the fin if this is not convincing we have the hottest engine exhaust pipe which if surrounded with fuel air mixture for a prolonged period can also result in similar fire so so you can see the temperature of the ground it is around 15.9 and motorcycle temperature is uh, 16.8 the engine exhaust temperature this is also 16.3 <gasps> Now if I see this it is 24.4 degree centigrade okay so there was mud so it is 77.8 degree centigrade 234 286 so it has touched even 300 okay this is a reading which is taken just after 5 minutes of riding which shows that exhaust pipe temperature at the outlet can be more than 300 degree centigrade even when ambient temperature was cooled at 16 degree centigrade the moment of impact with other vehicle also creates the best possible shake or splash of fuel air mixture if the engine bay is drenched in the fuel however the injuries and the appearance of the fireball confirm motorcycle going in flames just at the time of impact which needs a good quantity of fuel to walk in a confined space demands high quality work and trained technicians fixing fuel pipe fuel filter or the fuel pump wrongly is like a time bomb individual supervisors may double check any work undertaken on the fuel system to prevent such fuel leaks across the world some mig 29 fighters have been lost due to ventral drop tank fire as a mig 29 engineer i found a design flaw and wrote an article in the flight safety magazine based on my inputs hl modified the tanks to prevent such a fire ktm design team must look into fuel tank cracks on high priority as many bikes are already on road across the world the fuel pump assembly and filter can be fixed as done in ducati motorcycles to see that exposed fuel pipe joints filter and sealing rings are eliminated to prevent the possibility of any fuel leak from the route it might cost a bit but considering value of life that's a very minor price random safety audits undertaken by an independent safety expert is the best way to keep a check on service workshops if ktm india is keen i don't mind providing my services free of cost i never took a test ride before buying a pulsar or ktm 390 adventure as these two machines have changed the meaning of motorcycling in india and we are extremely 
thankful to Mr. Raji Bajaj for the same. I am eagerly waiting to upgrade from Ducati Hypermotard to a bike like KTM 790 Adventure as reasons are plenty. However, issue of trained technical manpower can't be ignored. Moment we talk of growing needs of aviation or automobiles. It is going to be a tough challenge to maintain the most advanced motorcycles if wish to use the present set of manpower, which needs a very serious change in their mindset. Saga's accident is an opportunity to change that mindset today. Beat the technicians or the riders. We are just one single team. But are you ready to race?